Seldom as a reporter does a story hit as close to home as the one that happened to my co-workers Tarek Miner and photojournalist Matt Kinzig this morning. We're here covering a story and left the truck for just about 45 minutes and when we came back I realized my laptop was gone. The two were out covering MLK Day events at Epiphany Baptist Church on McDuff. We ended up uh, uh, inside. I had come outside to do some, uh, some work to get ready for a live shot and uh, locked the truck, uh, so I thought, and uh, went back inside and resumed uh, uh, doing what I normally do. Little did the crook know that the church was living up to the message on its sign, God sits high, he has his eye on you because there was the surveillance camera staring down at the crook. You know, it's not frustrated, but you just get a little bit like, you know, it's not cool. It's, it's, I mean, we know being in the news business that this kind of stuff can happen, and it does happen all the time, but when it happens to you, it, it can really ruin your day. The surveillance video shows Tarek's laptop being snagged by this guy, who you can see during the MLK festivities inside the church fence. He cased the Channel 4 news van and realized the doors were unlocked. This was something Channel 4 crime analyst Ken Jefferson says can happen to any vehicle, work van, or your car. It doesn't matter where uh, the vehicle is or where the opportunity is, I should say because we've done many stories where people have broken into churches. Jefferson says the surveillance video will help, but finding these crooks isn't always easy. A lot of times if they take things like laptops, computers, or electronics, they try to get rid of them quick. They'll either try to pawn it or sell it on the black market, which they can get good money for it.